This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Rural Planner, Mr. Green, Camp Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now at the airport in uh, München, and uh, behind me here, I have the BMW i4. So today, we have actually have an event here, BMW event, and uh, we're going, it's funny, we have Audi ad right there, but uh, we'll be testing BMW iX and also i4. So today I will have the i4, and tomorrow I will test the iX. So I'll be driving this to uh, a hotel about an hour and a half away. Well, it depends how fast I drive. So this is M50, all wheel drive with over four, wait, wait, it was 400 something kilowatt power. This is the fastest one, fully electric, of course. And man, am I excited. Look at this color, man. I think Beamin Bjorn is back. Yes, I used to own an E61. That was a long time ago before I bought Tesla. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, let's get in here. See, hmm, hmm, do you like that shit? Do you like that shit? So I'll be driving it alone. We have to drive a route here, designated route. Hopefully I can hit some autobahn, some unrestricted. We need to test the speed of it, but also handling, noise, everything. So, man, I really love BMW interior. Not gonna lie. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, this, is, this is me, man, this is me. I just had to sell Millennium Falcon and buy a BMW. I'm just kidding. So I still haven't figured out how I'm gonna do the video. Hmm. Yeah, we'll figure out something. Expected drive time is 26 minutes. Please turn right in 100 meters. Now turn right. Caution. Restricted access. She. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hammer this. <laughs> oh, that was some proper hammering. Ooh, sport boost for the win. Wait, wait, it's um, forgot on uh, on Bundesstraße. It's uh, it's hundred zone here. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. That, huh? Wait, how fast was this thing? Let me just slow down a bit here, and then just floor it. Shit! What the heck? Okay, that's a slight delay and then dunk. You guys hear that dunk? Uh, 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 let's uh, let's um let's get some distance from the from the truck behind. Okay, let's do a, let's do a little uh, brake check also. Why well, truck is far behind, Ella? 
go. Oh, it's fairly there was almost like there is a slight. Uh, it's just traction control is just working full time, trying to uh, keep the car steady while launching. Oh, come on, one more, 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 more. Launch from forty. This thing is a freaking rocket, but I need to test it on the autobahn. Yeah. So, um, well, so far so good. Maybe I should uh, talk more about uh, comfort now. Uh, very little wind noise, but we're only doing about 100 kilometers per hour. So, um, I hope that we can get on the autobahn. That we get some hammer, uh, but at least over here on these kind of roads, hmm? nice and comfy. Well, okay, let me see. Oh, that's, uh, wait, is that, okay. But you see, even the turn signal sound is pleasant. And also some of the chimes in the BMW, they are pleasant. They are not like, dur, 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 dur. you know, there's not a noise like, dum, dum. and also when you enter the car, it's like, dum, dum. so, it, it, yeah. I just don't remember, but I, I've tested cars that, that sounds annoying. when you start the car, when you have chimes for reminding you about stuff. That's what that does. Let's go, let's go. What is the speed limit over here? Oh, no speed limit. Okay, okay. Sport, engage. Oh yeah, finally, wow. Okay, let me see. Oh, but it's not too long. Okay, let's just launch it. Let's go for it. Oh, <laughs> what the? Holy macaroni, this thing goes fast. It's like a freaking rocket. What? 220 kilometers per hour already. Holy sh... And it's so quiet. Even at 220, 228 seems to be VMAX. Okay, try the brakes. Well, regen, regen, okay. Oh, I like this. I Get out of the way. Fossils, scheisse. Ah. Nine, 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 nine. Okay, okay, okay. Please, please, please move. Please move. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, 210, 200. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, okay, let's, 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 let's cruise, cruise at around 100. 100 kilometers per hour, go! 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180. Wait, I'm supposed to exit here? No. 200, wow, holy macaroni, this thing is fast. Well, uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, you can probably achieve this in a Tesla also, but except for, oh, stau, 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 warning, stau. No, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's just, it's just left lane hover, okay. But it's just that you don't have the same comfort and it's just rock solid, even at 200. This car was built for it, man. I have to say, when I was driving, oh, good brake, good brake, good, good, good. When I was driving the Model Y at these high speeds, at 200 kilometers per hour, uh, it almost feels like it's slightly out of its comfort zone. This thing here, you you feel like 200 is perfectly fine 220 is perfectly fine i think we hit vmax 225 or something but it reached that speed quite fast i like it i like it <laughs> just uh, oh what the heck the consumption is 293 suddenly what the frunk i'm gonna check something here i'm gonna try the io Iconic sound. Okay. What the fuck say? Okay, that's the fake engine sound. <laughs> okay, let me see. What if we do sport mode? 
hope Polizai is not out later in today. Okay, so there's it's, it seems to be uh, connected to the throttle. Yeah, let's see. What, what, if, what if I try to do some kind of launch? I, I don't know if this has launch mode or anything. I mean, I could try, but now, okay, let's slow down a bit. It's good, good. Why? I hear that it uses several different samples for the fake engine sound and then changes. Let me do it again. Well, it's personally not something I wanted to have on, but at least it's there, the iconic, iconic sounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, but I, I will, okay, okay, I've shown it now, but personally, I prefer to have it off. Huh, well, okay, so this is the test drive then. We just let the car drive. We just uh, touch the, the, well, maybe I can just, okay, let me try something. <laughs> yes. Just use your knee like this. <laughs> okay, don't do like Uncle Bjorn, right? I know that some people, ah, oh, they, well, but uh, Uncle Bjorn did it, uh, so yeah, I should also do it. No, 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 don't, don't do it. This is, I'm just showing you what you shouldn't do, okay? So keep both hands on the steering wheel always. Yeah, don't, don't do this. Don't, don't do this, this. No, 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 don't do that, you know? Keep your meat on the steering wheel like this. This is good, this is good. No, don't do this, no, this, no, 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 that's here, here. This, yeah, yeah, this is good, good. Okay. Thank you for listening to my TED talk. You know, I should say something about the seat. I've been sitting here for an hour and they have good side support. Seems to be some kind of sport seats. So I'm not thrown in the seat. For, for example, I have Tesla again, okay? I use Tesla as a benchmark. Comparison, Model 3 seats, they are very comfy, but when you toss it around corners, you almost feel like uh, uh, your butt is about to slide off the seat. Here, it keeps you nice and firm. But again, I haven't tried to drive 1000 km challenge with this one yet. So uh, in general, uh, the Deutsche seats, they tend to be nice and firm. Maybe a little bit too firm for my taste, so maybe after four or five hours of driving, then I become butt hurt. Uh, but um, feeling a bit sweaty in my back, maybe because I've been hammering it hard and the sun is shining. So it would be great to have some, um, some ventilation. There is no perforation or no ventilation here, unfortunately. Oh, let me see, what's, how is the auto stay? Oh, okay, yeah, it's a Fahrschule. Uh, I think it was right. Fahrschule, is that right? Uh, driving uh, school. Um, so, um, yeah, but, it's still, it's still okay, the, the seat. Just that um, seat ventilation would be nice right now, today. But again, okay, we that's not very common in other cars either, so. Okay, but let's see now. I want to see how the stop and go uh, auto, I mean the cruise control and stuff works. How will it deal with Stau? Because you know, if you buy this, this, this car in uh, Staulan, I mean, I mean Germany, Deutschland, then you might want to consider how well it does it in Stau. Oh, is that Fiat 500X? Hmm. So let's see what happens once we start rolling, if I have to do anything or not. Well, we're down to 70% and the consumption is 279. Hmm. Yeah. But okay, it was a train. Oh, okay, the train over there. That's why we stopped. But you see, um, I keep comparing this car with the Model 3 because that's probably the closest, or one of the closer competitors. Um, 
maybe what, what about Polestar 2 or what about uh, yeah whatever just compare with Tesla yeah Tesla is a benchmark so you know I'm not saying that Tesla is better let me see oh go oh, oh I have to actually press yeah okay that's what I wanted to see yeah so it dings me and then kring, okay hmm, why didn't it just go I kind of want it to go for me just follow the thing maybe we stop too long okay let's see what happens now but uh, it's um, okay I should hold it there but it's just that Tesla scores well on some things like speed efficiency usability in the infotainment stable app supercharger network but then Tesla lacks in maybe uh, seat comfort. Uh, in Tesla, you get even sweater, sweatier in the seat. Uh, and also in the ride quality. Um, I'm personally not a too big fan of the ride. Let's see, I'm gonna go over the, the rail uh, tracks now. Well done. We, 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 what mode was that? Uh, comfort mode, yeah. If we did this in the Model Y, my spine will be broken now. And also in the Model 3 performance. Oh, you can, you can even do these curves. It's, it's, it's driving autopilot, all the stairs. Like this, gee. Uh, but again, this car, what this car is good. Well, go, 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 a little bit slow. Come on, go a little bit faster. Uh, this, what this car does well, the i4, is just the ride. The, 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 like the more like, you have more of the driving oh, uh, to go fast shnet, shnet, shnet. the driving settings you can customize uh, handling steering all that uh, and also the the interior quality and design here is well I guess um, I wouldn't say blindly say better but I, I also like this but also that's the thing and then it becomes more subjective because uh, Tesla has more space more open uh, interior and more simplified design whereas here you have buttons that feels nice to touch it has it has uh, perfect uh, feedback resistance on air vents uh, screen quick could be less laggy but uh, yeah uh, so you see you can then choose do you like BMW do you like Tesla do you like Polestar or how about Audi well okay they don't have a sedan yet well, except for uh, but that's e-tron GT but that's different so yeah so that's a um, wise word from uh, from a Chinese guy we now have 69% left consumption is 280 watt hour per kilometer we have driven uh, 77 kilometers they get some stats for me yes we have arrived at the destination so let me show you the trip meter we are this this is a freaking five-star hotel Kempinski but anyway so I checked out um, the we are now at 1,000 meter over sea level and then uh, uh, the airport was at uh, 450 meter over sea level let me just check here again uh yeah, yeah you see what <laughs> so i did the i already did the math um based on the distance driven here it means that if we didn't have elevation change it will be 20 watt hour per kilometer lower so it will be 236 watt hour per kilometer not 256 it's still kind of high if, given that we haven't hammered that hard most of the time we've just been driving slow let me see can we see average speed here? Well, based on the based on the time here, see the average speed is around 60. Well, it's, it counts now, but 60 kilometers per hour sounds about right. Actually, maybe a little bit more, maybe 65 kilometers per hour. But uh, there you go. Uh, by the way, I can show you that you also have. Wait, uh, three sixty camera. Huh? Okay. Well. Yeah, I can show more of this later. So let me see. Park. So let me just show you again. Oh yeah, by the way, we, are, we have 38% now. So let's go outside. Take a look at it in the sun, along with other uh, i4s. Oh yeah. So, um, 
I guess that's it. Wait, is that the radar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. I just noticed it now. This is the radar. Huh. And this grill is just uh, like this, closed grill. I guess down here, yeah, there, there, those, those are the louvers, right? Where you can open and close it if you need more cooling. But this part is just plastic. So, um, wow, I'm surprised that even at 1000 meter over sea level, it's not that uh, cold over here. So yes, I, I, think, um, I, I think that's gonna be it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, of course, I will be borrowing this i4 again in Norway, and then I will do my standard test, range test, 1000 km challenge. Maybe even go to Arctic Circle with it, but not box test, all that stuff needs to be tested. So that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.